Hey guys, welcome to level two of bomb proofing your back. You've either completed level one or you're jumping in here. Either way, make sure you are proficient with stacking and bracing your spine and check out the videos at the end if you're unsure what I mean. Grab a whiteboard or piece of paper and go ahead and write cardio, hip hinge, push up, reverse plank, and a front rack carry. Cardio is your choice, but you have to get your heart rate up enough that you are mouth breathing aggressively at the end of that 40 seconds. My personal preference is a fan bike. It's the best bang for your buck in terms of cardio load, and it takes up a small space. Next up is our hip hinge. If this is an unfamiliar movement, you may be starting with a sacral hip hinge, weight behind your back, or you may be doing dumbbells or kettlebells off the floor, or you may have a deadlift practice on an Olympic bar. Either way, pick a weight you can do smoothly for the entire 40 seconds unbroken. That means without a break. We're gonna take the plank from level one and make it a push up. You may need to scale back. That means you may need to go to a countertop or a low chair or stool to be able to do work throughout the full 40 seconds. Reverse plank, awesome as ever. You may be moving these items farther apart as you get stronger. It may be convenient to be using the chair you just did your push-ups off from. We're taking the carry from level one and making it a front rack carry. That means either resting on your shoulders or fully supported on your shoulder. You may have to drop your weight down if you were doing a farmer's carry before. This is an awesome exercise for your back, especially for those of you who carry heavy packs. If that's not accessible, it's a little ouchy and unattainable, you can continue with your farmer's carry. You could do one weight in a front rack resting on your shoulder and one weight in a farmer's carry. You could also level up by doing one heavy farmer's carry on one side. So we've got cardio, hip hinge, push up, reverse plank, and a front rack carry. Uh, just like we did in level one, it's going to be a 40-20 Tabata. That means 40 seconds of work with a 20 second transition. I like the Smart Wad app. It's free, it's easy. When you uh, load it up, you're gonna go to Tabata. You're gonna go ahead and set it up for 10 rounds. And it's gonna start counting down for you. If you wanna do 15 rounds, that's a 15 minute workout, that's great too. So stack, brace, breathe, and get after it.